sorry. Uh, Apologies, you join us in the middle of a celebration. We've just finished the uh, sixth episode of Planet of the Daleks. Now you can just uh, do a part. Let me just turn the music down a moment. Sorry about that. There we go. There we are. So yeah, we finished uh, Planet of the Daleks. We're feeling pretty good about that because, uh, as you may be aware, it's not very good. Like it really isn't very good. <laughs> you know, let's get the positives out of the way. Um, clearly, my favourite Thal is the science dude who uh, was really nice all the way through and looked like uh, Michael Palin. I kept forgetting to say that. Don't you think? No. Uh, and uh, my wife, I'm sorry, my wife would be enjoying the party, but she's still rather flummoxed by the idea of molten ice. The fact that it has been mentioned <laughs> for four... can't have an ice volcano. <laughs> the fact that it's been what mentioned... What is an ice volcano? It's been mentioned episode after episode, but it's only now that it's sunk in the, the sheer ludicrousness of the concept of molten ice. And there we yeah. go. So, um, David Casty passed away today. Uh, Did he? I don't know. He may have done. <laughs> but if he didn't, he we can best remember him from his uh, time in Doctor Who, playing the uh, abortive love interest of Joe in one of the most awkwardly pitched romances of all time ever. Was he in that? Uh, no, but I just he just looks like some bad 70s go. pop star ever. I don't know. I don't think I can be held liable. I've been drinking, you can see. Um, <laughs> I just would like to say that Terry Nation refuses, unequivocally refuses to have the Daleks beaten at any point and, uh, and insists that at any given uh, uh, story, there is potential for him to earn another check by writing the Doctor Who story. So... Fair play, Tezza. You know, keep uh, milking the golden cow. Um, uh, what else can we say about this story? Um, Thals are really poor. And uh, oh yeah, the the Dalek, the the sh shimmery Dalek thing. His lights didn't go in time with his voice. Did you notice that? Yeah, molten ice looks like snot. Did you notice that? I'm not even entertaining the idea of multiple ice. <laughs> <laughs> right, the dialogue at the end was, was appalling between the Doctor and Joe. And I think I feel sorry for Poey because he's clearly fallen into the idea that this is like monumental stuff. And it's not. It's just, it's just really, really poor. Plants gobbing on everybody and stuff like that. It's just appalling. I don't want that on my television screen. Uh, you know, putting up a barrier to fight. Uh, just uh, the bit when the Doctor had to sort of do hopscotch over a load of Daleks. Started off as if it was looking really good, but ended up with just him, like when you drop your glasses at a gig or something, and being stepped on. It's just a terrible Doctor Who story. It was really, really, really woefully bad. And I'm so delighted it's finished. Um, so anyway, we're about to go and get some nibbles and party poppers and stuff, and uh, uh, put some black eyed peas on. <laughs> I don't know why black eyed peas. <laughs> and uh, next time I see you, we'll be happy because it will be better.